Okay, so this is part three. So hopefully this is the last of the um, of these uh, videos. Um, hopefully I can wrap this up because uh, it is getting quite long. I didn't I didn't expect this to be that long. Um, so next up is uh, after a pop tingle berserk is um, and they're from Sweden or something like that is Absurd Minds and they have some very interesting artwork at um, overall and their um, their their dealio is that they their deal is that they have their their mindset is I th I think they're absurdists and absurdists believe in the idea of no actual I'm trying to put this in ways from what I understand I'm not trying to like throw this out there in any type of way from what I heard existing in a chaotic universe that doesn't really you know give you a point <laughs> but making a point out of it. I turned it positive. Um, giving purpose to it. Giving purpose to life kind of deal. And that's kind of what the music does, is their music kind of has to where they they tell you kind of the purpose of different stuff. For instance, this is spat, spat, Spata? Spat, Sapta? Sapta, that's what it is. Sapta. Um, so, um, you know, it's it's very interesting music. Uh, the one I, I find... The, the one I like here is interconnectedness, where it's like it talks about the idea of all of the universe is connected, and um, so it's a, it, does, it actually is very different from what I think of when I think of what people told me what absurdism means. But um, again, it's more of the idea of turning everything positive because the fact they they are like uh, like turning everything to give it purpose, whereas the universe is not giving it purpose. That's kind of what they're. Uh, deal is and with this one a light that's shown that's the reason why I got this one the other songs on it are okay but that one it's it's probably the best out of that one um, that was the major reason why I got that album next one is the Covenant album so Covenant this one I like because of Lightbringer this one because of a couple of them like uh, the, the call the ships to port uh, Silent and Invisible, Prometheus, We Stand Alone, We Run Revolution. There's a lot of good ones on this one. This one has a couple ones here and there, but um, this one seems to have more, more, uh, more bangers. They call it. They call them bangers, I think. Oops, all bangers. Um, but no, they call them bangers. I think when it's like a good music thing. Next dude or next person artist guy is Solvent. Uh, he went to paper as well because he went to self releasing stuff. Um, and he started off in ambient tracks, and then it went into, um, then it went into, uh, Paper. This is the newest album I got from him, and oof, oof, yikes. The one I got from him wasn't, uh, before that wasn't too bad. This was, has my favorite song by him. His name is Jason Am, actually, instead of Solvent, called, uh, My Radio, and that one's pretty cool. And then, um... Solvent City, I like I said, I think it has all ambient tracks. Uh, we're getting very close to the next next one is another self-release guy. I've spoken about him before on this channel, I believe, for one of my other videos. Son of Rust. And this album is has a lack of color, a lack of artwork, and a lack of a whole bunch of stuff because CD Baby really isn't a good way to release your album, apparently. If you want artwork and art design stuff, I would say probably use a different way method because CD Baby did that to him. I don't know why. Still trying to figure out where Son of Rust is, where he might be, um, whatever happened to him. Um, and so next is um, VNV Nation, uh, Transnational. Uh, and this is another company that kind of, this is another band that went kind of by themselves. This is kind of paper lick as well in the material. This one's paper like as well, uh, Automatic. Uh, some people might know it from the song Control. But I really like Space and Time. I really like Resolution. I think Photon was pr actually pretty good by them as well. This one I liked for Primary. Uh, Retaliate, I think it was cool. If I Was. And that one was pretty uh, inspiring. And then we come to the last two albums I have on my CD um, thing so far. There are more albums to come, obviously. Uh, more synth pop to collect. But these are the ones that I have so far. Next is uh, another Covenant album, and this one was like a deluxe, like like two-disc deluxe thing. And so it was like 
It's like nuts. So, like, look at this. Look at it. This. this is like all oh, like. This is this is nuts. But yeah, they gave me a two disc thing, and the problem was that the second one only had three. Three songs, the first one being 45 minutes long and it was nothing but a synthesizer that sounded like you hit one note, broke it, and then walked off and then came back and said, oh yeah, this thing's still on. <laughs> but that's my review of a subterfuge for three absinths. Why did they make this track? <laughs> Why? Not to rate that album badly. The rest of the album is perfectly fine. I love the album. Ritual Noise, Brave New World, The Men, Happy Man. The rest of these songs, fine, perfectly fine. like that album, but... Why did they do that on the extra edition, 42 long, 42 minute long? That's just... And then the last album of what I have so far, Lion's Heart, which is a split off of Seabound. Um, and this guy is, uh, I think his name's Frank, S Frank Speneth. I think that's his name. But anyway, he created this thing called Lion's Heart, and I think it's his newest uh, solo project, newest project, and it is a solo, it is a solo project. And um, this one's pretty cool because it's more of the ambient stuff you kind of get like with Seabound. In fact, there was one song on here that I think was originally a Seabound song from what I understood. Though I cannot find where exactly it came from Seabound wise. The name of the song is called uh, Murder. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but hear me out. The song was called Murder and it was... Um, it was originally a Seabound song, but then he re-edited it and remade it so that way you could, you know, have an updated version for this track. And now it is a Lionheart original, so that's a little bit interesting. The rest of these songs, though, are, they don't sound that too weird. Like the, uh, the Heron City, Flashback, Abandoned, Gone, Cloud, Hint, Threat, uh, To What I Don't Know. That one's pretty good, actually. I like that one. Uh, no going back in the sand. So yeah, there's just that one that kind of sounds kind of with the title. But again, <laughs> art it, art is art. That's what I'm going to say. But other than that, yeah, this kind of ends my CD look like collection thing. Like all uh, my synth pop stuff. So thanks you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully you stood throughout all three of these. And hope you enjoyed all the synth pop stuff. So. Alright, thanks.